Mark, we've got two games this bank holiday weekend, but up first is a trip to Oldham tomorrow. Um, so what are your thoughts ahead of that one? I think this, this is what this league's about. I mean, I remember watching Oldham in, uh, in the Premiership. So uh, a club of that stature um, in the National League shows how strong this league is. So uh, it's certainly a game we're looking forward to. This is, this is why you know, players want to play in the National League. The, the carrot's so big, playing against sides of that, of that nature. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to it. As you say, Oldham are obviously a big side. They came down last year. So, um, you know, have you, have you looked ahead of them? What, what can they offer us tomorrow? Yeah, look, we always do our homework. I think straight away, just the, the name of the club, you, you're going to give them respect. But we've also, um, you know, been working very hard on our own game. We feel that we can take games to people as well. And um, like I said, we're, we're growing as a group. Um, we feel like we're, we're improving. And um, like I said, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge that Oldham brings. And another one of those challenges over the weekend is having two games in such short notice. So what, how do you prepare for that one? Um, it's always difficult, a quick turnaround. So we ask the boys to be as professional as they can away from the football club, uh, making sure that they're eating right, resting right, getting the right nutrition in, doing everything they can, because it is such a, such a demanding league physically, plus you know the travel and the other bits which go along with it. So um, it's certainly a, you know, a big hurdle to get over, but we play on Friday night. That gives us a, a little bit extra to recover. Yes, we're going to be getting back late, but um, you know, that, hopefully that extra... Um, day will, will help us because you know Maidstone obviously don't do the travel but hopefully that extra day equalises that and, and that's what it's about this 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 level this game is, is about marginal games and you try and be as planned and pre-planned as you can and try and give the players everything you've got within your resources to give them the best opportunity to go out and, and perform. On Saturday um, against Bromley we unfortunately saw Joe Partington limp off um, can you give us an update on him and in any other maybe knocks that have maybe happened this week? Yeah, Joe's uh, had a scan this week, so we'll know the extent of that in the, in the coming days. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate to lose your captain after you know, 24 minutes. We started the game really brightly. And it was a great game for us, actually. We, know we've, we certainly played on the front foot and had lots of chances. And um, you know, unfortunately, you know, the, the result was a negative and losing your captain is as well. Um, we fortunately managed to bring in Frank Vincent from Notts County, so we, that, that's timed quite well. Um, so he's, he's up for selection and uh, a player we know a lot about and really infused and excited to see him in the all shot shirt. Yes, and obviously it's been his first week of training, Frank. So how's that been? Has he settled in well? Yeah, training's been great. Frank knows a lot of the boys as well. So um, he, he's seamlessly, um, you know, found himself in, in, in training. Knowing people has certainly, certainly helped and he looks like he's been here all season. Um, you know, he's a... Great character, loads of energy, um, you know, so you really enjoy being around him, as, as I do all the group, you know, it's, uh, every day is a pleasure training, working hard with them, um, but we, you know, we really are working hard for those, those results now. Cheers, Mark. Thank you. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.